All right, today we're gonna be reviewing our favorite Pokemon, Snorlax. Our chunky friend has been put in jail for two full seasons now. It was just better to play different Pokemon. A new season has begun. Is Snorlax any good? Wait, hold on, Zug. The viewers made this intro for you. I am Zagra, competitive Pokemon Unite player. I was rank 1 in the world for the majority of season 1, and I did it by only playing as the Pokemon Snorlax. He was the Snorlax guy. After season 1, with the additions of newer Pokemon, Snorlax as the main tank wasn't the best pick anymore. Changes to the meta were too much for the big guy. In a competitive 5 stack team, the role Snorlax would play is the tank with the moves Heavy Slam and Block. The damage that Snorlax does with this build is very low. This build is really good because you get a big shield that can push and isolate the enemies, and the move Heavy Slam stuns your opponents to make a good push. A good beginner tip for this build would be to try and learn the timing of Heavy Slam. Knowing how to time your Heavy Slam will make you stand out as a Snorlax player. I knew he was going to come for the turn. I'm going to do bees. I'll be level 10. Let's take a look at the other Snorlax build, the Flail Axe. This is definitely the more popular build. You can make Snorlax a DPS machine. No. Oh! Look at this dude. Uh, <laughs> 2800 credit. <laughs> what the? Flail Axe build moves can either be Flail and Yawn or Flail and Block. But for 5 stack, I would lean more towards using Block just because you have a team to help you out when coordinating the push. Oh. A tip I would give for using Flail Axe would be to use your Flail move to get out of fights you won't win or to rush. To a point on the map faster. Also equipping the X speed and make Snorlax feel a lot quicker. Charge! Okay, but is Snorlax good right now in the brand new season? Let's jump into a match. I'm playing Flail Axe right now. Charge! Got it. Hopefully I'll I'll ah! No! Uncharge, uncharge! Bro, why me? Why me? Why? It's a nice Snorlax, man. This is what they got! Couldn't have messed with me. For the official Pokemon stuff. Nice. I killed like I have a sleeping on top of him. I crushed him. Rolex is too fat. For no reason. They're just let me get this for free. Oh shit, let's go. That's definitely worth dying there to get a 30 cap. On the way. Wait, how did he not get pushed? I wanted to push him out of the veil and he's just like, nah, I'm good. I don't really feel like being pushed. Day to just heal myself, I think. Wait, C wait, Cinder! Okay, he got it. I was just gonna ult the dread and secure it. Oh no, that's scary. Did it. <laughs> You're on fire. Charge. Uh oh. Should not have charged. Whatever. Maybe. Charge! Charge! Oh no. Ah! He's like, okay. Let's play normal. Let's go. 
Können wir so sagen? Killing them. Um, yeah. It's hard to play tree. Like, Lucano's also playing Greedent this week, but then there would be times where he's just like stuck level 4 because of the bug. I don't know. There was the one game in the rush tourney with the XP bug where we kept a Vizid as a slowpoke for like 5 minutes. That was pretty toxic. My thoughts on Snorlax for this season? Hey Zug, did you know that 69% of your viewers are not subscribed to you? Stop interrupting. Wait. 69%? Nice. Anyways, my thoughts on Snorlax right now hasn't changed. Snorlax is very mobile Pokemon that can be really fun to play. However, I believe right now for the tank roll, other Pokemon like Wiggly and Slowbro are more effective for both 5 stack and solo queue. No. Alright, run. Sonic's is good, but isn't great. His Unite move, a lot of times, is just used as a buddy barrier, but sometimes the healing can be useful. It's just a low value Unite usually, though. As a tank, you don't have to do a lot of damage, but wouldn't it be better if you could? I sometimes do 50k damage with Wiggly. Every time Sonic's build can do this as consistently. Oh my god, let's go. For the other roles like Jungle or Lane, the Flail Lax build can be really good at doing a lot of damage. Oh. Is that what I said what happened last time? There's a Decidueye. <laughs> Just crit him for his entire health bar. <laughs> However, doing a lot of damage isn't going to win matches. Snorlax is really good at last hitting until level 5, but once you have Flail, you lose your last hit ability, which makes it sometimes hard to secure last hits in lane. Snorlax moves don't have a lot of range, which makes it sometimes hard to catch your opponents. And I believe right now our big friend isn't the greatest when put up against the current meta. If the devs were to buff Snorlax's Unite move, it would see a lot more play in the competitive scene. If you're going to play Snorlax as a tank, you should check out my two minute guide I have up on the channel. There's some great tips and tricks there. Thank you for watching everyone. What are your thoughts on Snorlax? Let me know down in the comments.